Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be working on the game. Now if you remember from the previous tutorial we had it randomly generate an enemy based on um, well whenever we click spawn enemy it randomly generates an enemy. Now you can see I set the image of this to a zombie at the beginning because I added some stuff to the um, button spawn so that it checks to see if there's already an image in there. Now, this didn't actually work out the way I wanted it to, but you can look at it if you want. I just checked to see um, if the image equals a zombie, then it's going to go ahead and set enemy type equal to a next um, to another integer. This didn't work out too well because it, when it does that, it doesn't send it back up to the top of the select case. Um, so, basically, what I wanted to tell you is to set this to 4 and not 3 because it generates 1 it can either be 1 all the way up to 3 it can, it'll go 1 below the max value now this that I added right here works sometime, sometimes but not all the time so if you want to put that in you can go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and run this and you can see what happens if you spawn an enemy you can see it spawned a villain uh, then a dragon then a zombie a zombie again and you can see it's a little more random now and we can spawn different enemies and it's not spawning the same one over and over again sometimes we'll get the same one over uh, but it works a little bit better than it did before um, so I'll just go back to this code you can pause it right here if you need to so put that in if you want it's not necessary uh, but it will help a little bit so what we need to do in order to use our classes from our game uh, class library we need to have game GUI selected and we need to come up here to project and we need to add a reference now we need to reference um, the DLL that we created um, by use by creating our class library now you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff that we can reference that's built into uh, the dotnet framework you can see I've got a whole bunch of stuff right here we're just going to select projects and we'll select the game project and we'll click OK. Okay, so we'll come up here and right before form one, let's go ahead and create a private variable. So we'll do private current enemy. <clears throat> now we're not going to set this to any certain type right now. We're going to do that whenever they spawn an enemy. So if they spawn, let's say, a zombie, we'll type current enemy equals and we want to create a new instance of zombie now since we added a reference to that DLL file what we can do is type um, enemies library dot zombie so current enemy is now a zombie and so now that we've created our current enemy what we want to do is set some uh, values for this progress bar so we'll come over here and first we need to come over here to the properties and we need to find the max value which is 100 which is what we want it to be so then we'll type progress bar or progress bar enemy sorry I got interrupted there so progress bar enemy dot value is going to be equal to 100 so let's go ahead and run this and you can see if we spawn an enemy Let's spawn until we get a zombie. So we spawned a zombie, and you can see it set the progress bar value, progress bar value equal to um, 100. Now let's go ahead and do this for each of the uh, cases. So current enemy is going to be equal to a new enemies library dot, and we're going to do a villain vb. Now, let me get this out of the way real quick. You can see that we accidentally made the class uh, villain vb dot vb instead of just villain. Uh, but we don't really need to change that. So we set the uh, current enemy and uh, to a new villain. Now let's go ahead and set the progress bar. But one thing that we should do, instead of just setting the value equal to 100, we need to use indirection. So we'll use current enemy dot
health. So you can see that if we try to access health, it's not there. That's because when we created this variable, um, it's not set to any ser sort of data type. So what we can do is use polymorphism. So if we use enemies library dot enemy, we can create we can make this current enemy um, any type of enemy we want. We can make it a zombie, a villain, or a dragon, and it will it can still be uh, represented as an enemy. So if we use current enemy dot health now, you can see that it will show up and that we can use it. So we just need to use current enemy dot health here. So this way, instead of having to know the values ourselves and setting them when we um, create this, it'll just get the stuff that's already there for us to use. So current enemy equals new enemies library dot dragon and then progress bar enemy dot value is going to be equal to current enemy dot health okay so now that we've added um, the stuff that we need to create a new enemy object and then set the value of the progress bar let's go ahead and test this out and see if everything works fine so let's go ahead and we can spawn an enemy and we spawned a zombie um, spawn uh, that guy we can spawn with the villain we can spawn the dragon and each time it's actually resetting this progress bar and we just can't see it so go ahead put this code in if you haven't um, you can add this if else uh, and if right here if you want um, and then make sure you make objects and set the value of the progress bar and once you've done all that go ahead and move on to the next tutorial where we will continue working on this project.